It's Nadia from Molten Imaginings, here with another video. And today I am experimenting with my encaustic wax on a hot plate. Here I'm just rubbing the wax blocks directly onto the card, smoothing both sides over and creating a Rorschach test effect. In order to make it work better, I add a lot more wax and this really sticks to the card and produces some really stunning effects. No two designs are the same. In fact this second one I could have run with, but I wanted to add a little bit more gold and a little bit more pearl and red. The effect I'm going for here is the idea of wings, and this third try was perfect. In the centre of the design I'm going to draw an angel with my stylus. I start by adding a rough outline in white wax and then going in with the blue to define the draw. This was my first attempt at something like this and although I really liked the effect with the wax, the posture of the figure wasn't really working. I didn't know what to do with the arms so I painted them out and added them again. It's also very tricky to get just the right amount of wax and I was adding a little too much in some areas. Luckily, I do have a scribing tool to wipe away some of the wax in places where I'd gone a bit overboard. Also, I feel this figure is a little small. I wish she'd been a little larger. And the posture here was reminding me very much of Kali. And so I just thought I'd run with this. After scraping back a little more of the wax, I added two extra arms and she is a very demonic looking angel. Which actually works quite well considering I was very much inspired to do these paintings by Jazza's Ultimate Character Design 2 session, which was set in a world of fallen angels. I imagine this to be one of the evil angels who eventually caused the fall, rising up on a plume of demonic smoke and fire. To smite the unbelievers. For my second attempt I used a completely square cut piece of card and a much more luminous yellow wax. I feel that this produced a much more striking effect almost from the very first try. Of course I needed to go back and add just a little bit of gold to give it that extra pop. I was applying the wax here in downward strokes to emulate feathers on a wing, and I also added some more red to this one. I use a candle to rub the back of the painting, just because that's what I use to clean my hot plate. And I was very happy with this design, so I went straight in with the stylus. What was even better about this design was there was almost the pattern of a figure outlined in the white where the wax had removed from the paper. So all I needed to do was follow the lines already in the wax. I made this angel much larger and connected the pattern of the wings to her body. I also gave her an extended headdress. I think based on some pictures I'd been looking at recently of the Bodhisattva. She is surrounded by planets and stars and her feet are lifted right off the ground. I went in with my scraping tool to tidy it up a bit more especially around the feet and I found that the yellow wax which had gone rather green was perfect for uh, continuing the details of the wings right up to her body. She is surrounded by a glimmering ray of light. I find angels very difficult to draw but I tried to do Angel April in, in April and did maybe three or four drawings in total. I do like to try and draw them because I love the idea of people with wings. I really love the colour scheme of this piece, the way the colours have merged together and created this really nice, shimmering, magical effect. I love how a large part of this is totally random and that I managed to enhance that randomness and make it something totally unique. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to my channel. And thank you very much for watching.